friends, welcome back to my channel. It's just Jack to you. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. First of all, I am so sorry I haven't created content, but I'm here today and I've decided that it was important to share and talk about nutrition. I want to consolidate everything that I've learned and what's worked for me on my wellness journey. So we're going to talk about proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and calories. How we're going to use all of these things on a day-to-day -day basis to change our physique, how we look and how we feel. So welcome. Let's begin. All right. So we're going to start with our blackberries. These are an excellent source of antioxidants. They're low in sugar. These are carbohydrates. All of these things right here to select from are carbohydrates. They are complex carbs, though. They are natural sugars, but your body is going to source energy from these. Raspberries, high in antioxidant, low in sugar, really good for the skin. The papaya is excellent for digestion, you know, to keep regular. And mandarins, vitamin C, antioxidants, low in sugar, excellent for a gym day. I love these. These are some of my favorites. So when you're wanting something sweet, go for natural things. Go for fruits that are low in sugar and have a lot of nutritional value. These all hit the mark. The thing that we should consider when we're consuming fruits or any foods for that matter is serving sizes. So one cup of blackberries is a serving size or 150 grams. I sometimes use the scale, sometimes I don't, but this 16 of these is a serving size. I never really eat 16 of them at a time, but invest in a, a measuring cup. If you don't have a lot of money that you want to spend, go to the 99 cent store. You can buy some measuring cups. This is like 10 bucks on um, Amazon. So serving sizes matter. Something else that I do as soon as I do my groceries, I wash my fruit. Wash it, get it over with. That's one less step that you have to encounter when you want to eat. When I'm ready to eat, it's like immediate. So I'm going to let these soak in water with a teeny bit of baking soda and a drop of um, apple cider vinegar. The major key to success, keep your fruits visible. If your fruits are out on the counter and they're visible, you're more likely to consume that versus craving something else. Humans are very simple creatures, y'all. We want what the eyes can see. All right, non-fat Greek yogurt, zero fat. Let's take a look at the label. So for one serving, you get 110 calories, three quarters of a cup or 170 grams. I can't stress this enough. You have to use your measuring tools because we usually don't use the appropriate serving sizes when we eat food. So we have no fat here when we consume this, only seven carbohydrates, ooh, my nails are terrible, and 17 grams of protein. This is a protein king and so simple to consume for breakfast or when you want a snack, Greek yogurt. One of the ways to, to get to success is by making the journey simple. So this has everything that I need in the bag. All of the dressing, the sides, the thing, everything's chopped up, everything's washed for me. And if I ate the whole bag, it'd be 470 calories. And fats, let's find the fats. 40 grams of fat. Most of that fat comes from that vinaigrette. Fats can be the thing that make you fluffy. We don't realize that it happens that way, but it does. But I just like these salads, simple. And this actually, I eat two salads out of one bag. It's supposed to be three, but I eat two. And I don't eat all that dressing. I wanna share this really cool app with you guys. Let's look. So. Let's say this is lunch. Please don't ignore my nails. Barcode. All right. Here is a salad. We're going to scan the barcode. Boom. Look at that. It tells me how many carbs, how many proteins, how many fats. This thing says, just so you guys have an idea of how to use it, 3.5 servings per container. So let's, let's assume we're going to consume 3.5. We're not eating all of that. But if we did... This is what's in your salad. That's how many carbs, how many proteins, how many fats. Beautiful. Total calories, 560. You know why this one is so high in carb? I mean, excuse me, in calories? That dressing. You got to be mindful of the dressings you consume. It's creamy. Anything creamy, it's going to make you fluffy. This one is delicious. So these are the things that I add into my dinners. I always have salad. So one bag will go for two to three salads. And just don't use all the dressing. You don't need all of that dressing. Complex carbohydrates, guys. 
quinoa the reason i select quinoa let's take a look at the protein protein five grams of protein one quarter of a cup i rarely even eat one quarter of a cup the trick to the quinoa i'm gonna tell you right now you cook it in chicken broth there's more protein here, so four grams. Instead of cooking this in water, I cook it in free-range chicken broth. So simple. Sweet potatoes. It grows from the ground. It's totally safe to eat. You know what it is. If you can buy organic, do that. If you can't, it's still better than you consuming some macaroni or something. This is legit food. All right, juices. This is the juice that I drink. It's a green juice. I like it because... I feel full when I consume it and it helps me go to the bathroom. It is not something that I use to um, substitute any foods. I just drink it because it helps keep me regular. And this is for four servings. Remember to read serving sizes, four serving sizes. Please guys don't come for my nails, it's, they're so bad. I'm gonna do them. Um, yeah, so this is the juice. And when I'm in the mood for something exciting, sparkling mineral water only one glass a day and try to have it with a straw because carbonated drinks can be damaging to your tooth enamel. Talk protein. Chicken breasts. This should be a staple in your fridge, in your freezer. This is a very lean meat. It's high in protein. You get about, what, 30 grams per serving. One serving is about five ounces. You can measure with a scale or with a cup. Steak, when you consume, this is also high in protein. When you consume this, make sure you go high in fiber on those days because it takes longer for your body to process. So keep that in mind. This guy, ground turkey, so simple to prepare. And it's 90, 30% lean. The fat that does come out of it, I just drain it. Then some branzino, some fish. Take a look at this. One filet gives you 21 grams of protein. How cool is that? 21 grams of protein for one serving, and it's low fat, 2.5. So these are my go-to proteins. They're clean, they're lean. The steak isn't that lean, but the other guys, they're a go-to. Oh, I almost forgot. Tuna. Tuna. One can of tuna gives you, let's take a look, 29 grams of protein. Your body can only tolerate, well, use for muscle building approximately 30 to 40 grams of protein. So just with this one can of tuna and maybe some veggies, you'll hit your protein needs in one meal. So these are excellent. Simple vegetables. I don't, com listen, I'm always on the go. I don't complicate my life <laughs> because I want food to be simple. This is already prepared. You can throw them in the oven or you can throw them in the microwave. Green beans, so easy to cook. You can cook them in chicken broth. You can bake them. You can air fry them. Really easy, lean veggies you can consume. My broccoli Normandy is delicious. It's one of my favorites. I eat this a lot. So remember that when you're selecting your veggies, unless you're the type that likes to cook fresh all the time, frozen vegetables are just fine. It's simple. You need fiber in your diet. So make sure you're consuming a good amount of veggies. My go-to snacks, they're not regular snacks. These are fats. So be mindful of how many you consume. Make sure you measure. Almonds, they have so much nutritional value. Sunflower seeds, these are great on salads. When you want something salty, eat them. Let's take a look. See how we've got to be cautious? 17 grams of fat, 210 calories for a quarter of a cup. It adds up, you guys, but there's protein in it. That's why I buy these. Walnuts, this is a girl thing. <laughs> Walnuts are great for you. Again, measure these as well. This is my version of junk food, okay? I buy these because sometimes I like to eat chips. Instead of eating chips, I consume these bad boys. They they taste good, they go good in salads, good with almost any food, honestly. So, these are great. Why these? Boom, let's take a look. Proteins, 10 grams of protein and three tablespoons. You guys, this is the most simple plant-based consolidated form of protein you can consume put it in your salads put it in your um, yogurt put it in your shakes if you want i live by these eggs if you can buy the pasture raised or organic ones pasture raised i feel like taste pretty good so let's talk about the nutritional value in eggs we have the back let's take a look see one egg 70 calories how much protein where's the protein six grams zero carbs, five fats. 
you get six proteins. So if I ate two eggs, that's 12. These are great proteins for breakfast. The smoked salmon, I eat it with a little bit of avocado and tortillas for breakfast. I love them. So you'd have to eat the whole container to get like 22 grams of protein, but I just eat half and then I eat with one egg, avocado, tortilla. It's like a Central American play on sushi. I love these. These, it's two links in order to get 10 grams of protein. But again, I probably will pair this with an egg and um, a pancake. And this time, what I bought that's different is buttermilk protein pancake. I usually eat Kodiak, but I didn't go to tri um, BJ. So let's take a look. 10 grams for two protein, 10 grams of protein for two pancakes, 140 calories, no fat. Decent. Remember, be light on the pancake thing. Don't don't go crazy, because this is carby. Let's talk breakfast. Say, for example, you made some pancakes. Remember, we said one pancake, 10 grams of protein. One egg is six grams of protein. So we're talking 16. Two of these is 10. So now we got 26 grams of protein. This is breakfast. Very low fat, very low in carb. If that doesn't work for you, you can go here, a serving of Greek yogurt with the hemp seeds. So you got 17 here and 10, that's 27. You see how that's one serving of breakfast or this? This could be a serving of breakfast with avocado. I, don't know, I forgot the avocados, but play with it, you guys. Get creative. This is the bread that I eat. It's Joseph's lavish bread. Half of a flatbread is six grams of protein. Look at the carb. It's eight carbs, it's not high. I could pair this with a can of tuna, which is roughly 29, let's call it 30. So we'll have 35 grams of protein if we ate a can of tuna with this. Come on guys, we can do it. We can hit high protein meals and keep the carbs low. So I believe I've included most of the things that I consume. These things right here are really important. The message that I want you to take away from today's like a uh, video is track your food understand how many calories you're consuming daily how many carbohydrates how many proteins how many fats a lot of people start to use the app and they are blown away by how little protein they put in their body and how high the fat the fats are some people will consume a meal and it's 2,000 calories 2,000 calories is what you should consume in a day unless you're an athlete a regular person that is sedimentary I think that's how you say the word sorry apparently i don't know how to pronounce a lot of words that's what i've been noticing lately um yeah if you sit a lot behind a desk you're not moving enough and if you go and work out let's say you burn through 600 calories putting 4,000 calories in your body per day is never going to land you in the place that you need to be so the first rule is calorie deficit a calorie deficit will make sure that you lose weight but when you are losing weight sometimes you can lose fat I mean excuse me muscle if you're losing muscle you're gonna start to look you look soft <laughs> so if you want to build muscle and you want to look tighter you want to be more fit make sure those proteins are on point make sure those fats are low try not to consume um, over 70 I think 60 is the number by the way um, carbohydrates measure those these are your best friends I'm gonna include the apps there like in in the description so you guys know what you can use and those are free these are free tools and remember that while you're on this journey this is a lifetime thing so if you fall off the wagon and you don't feel like you're doing great try again tomorrow try again tomorrow keep going keep trying do your best be present and do your best when you eat and you are mindful you consume the things that you should consume think like a fit person would a fit person eat this would a fit person eat this uh, chicken alfredo and big giant bowl of pasta with, you know, chicken breath? Maybe, if it was measured. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, you can eat bad things, but nothing is bad. Everything just has to be accounted for. Just like when you go to the grocery store and you, let's say you show up with $200. You can't bring home $300 worth of groceries because you only brought out $200. <laughs> I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. I hope that you feel inspired and motivated. If you have questions, list them down below. Um, 
I always say this and I include this, like be a blessing whenever possible. I think it's important to be kind to others when you can and find room to be kind with yourself as you're on this journey because it's not easy. Um, you're just creating habits and there's no reason for you to feel overwhelmed by where you want to end or land in your journey. The journey is where it's at, right? That's where the growth happens. That's where enlightenment occurs. And um, yeah, that, that that's it. <laughs> I hope this helps. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the support. Um, you guys have no idea how much you've impacted me on my journey. And I hope I have some level of impact in a positive way on you. Peace out.